Welcome to stevensfairfax.org. Today, we'd like to walk you through the easy steps so you can fill out a health acknowledgement form, which you need to fill out at least two business days before your next visit to St. Stephen's or if you plan to attend any St. Stephen's event, whether it's on grounds, off grounds, inside, you need to fill out this form to keep everybody safe. So let's go to the steps. You go to the website, the, the main webpage, www.stephensfairfax.org, and go under Welcome, where you'll see Healthy Church Team. You go to the Healthy Church Team site, and if you scroll down past the picture, and there will be some good notes and good information on what we're doing and all the work that the Healthy Church Team does, you'll see in purple a link for the Health Acknowledgement Form. So you click on that link, and that will take you to the Virginia United Methodist Church site. And on that site, in bright yellow, you'll see the COVID Health Acknowledgement Form for in-person gatherings. And you will click on that. When you click on that, it will give you a little preamble on what we're doing and, and what's, what's the purpose behind some of the form. And then you press the button, click on the button, continue to form. Now... This is where it might get a little confusing. On step one, under Select Your Church, it should be preset for Alexandria because we're in the Alexandria District. St. Stephen's is in the Alexandria District. So just push Next, and then you'll go to a roll-down bar right around here where you'll see churches from all over the district. And I'll give you a tip to get to St. Stephen's. Normally, we refer to St. Stephen's as St. Stephen's. But on this list, it's S-A-I-N-T Stevens. So it might make it a little bit uh, different order on the list because of that. So go to St. Stevens, scroll down here, St. Stevens UMC in Burke. Hi uh, make sure that's highlighted on the scroll bar and then continue to step two. Now when you get to step, step two, you'll want to put in your name. And uh, just for the sake of uh, the test here, we'll say uh, Joe Doe and make a telephone number. We'll give you the Hollywood number here. I think it's 555-555-5555. Uh, make up an email address. Um, I will uh, use an email address, uh, Joe uh, Doe at gmail.com. And it always helps to be able to type. <laughs> and then, uh, would you like to remind uh, uh, remind us to sign up? You can you can press your preference there, and then you continue to step three. Now, this is probably uh, well. They're all critical steps here, but this is very critical, and that this is where we make sure, and you make sure that you're healthy and ready to go to our next event or the event that you would like to go to. You want to go down this list and you want to make sure that all of these things, if you've had two or more of these symptoms in the past 14 days, then you probably want to pass on this particular event. You also, they're going to ask you, have you been in contact with anyone experiencing symptoms of COVID? Um, uh, other questions pertaining to your past experience with COVID. Have you been tested? Have you tested positive? Are you request? Are you are you uh, past that stage? Are you healthy? Bottom line here is, please take a very close look at all of these different qualifications. We want to make sure that you're healthy, and we want to make sure that all the people who are uh, with you at the event remain healthy. Uh, if you can answer yes to all the questions, which means you're clear to go, press I agree. And it takes a second. And at that point, you are pretty much done, uh, except if you're filing out forms, and this is critical for more than one person, let's say you're going with your, your significant other or one of your children or a friend or an aunt or so on, you want to fill out an additional form for each person, and this is critical. Uh, a lot of times people will think, well, I know my wife is healthy or my husband is healthy or my son is healthy. I'll just fill it out for me. You have to fill it out for each, each individual participant. Now, again, the requirement is you need to fill this out at least two business days before the event or before your visit. And also, um, 
if 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 you want to fill it out before that, that's fine. We have some in person outdoor uh, outdoor worship services coming up in October and November, and for those events, you would want to have them uh, these forms completed by Wednesday. So once you're done, you just click here to finish, and there you go.